Hello, welcome to a new video from Ozin Engineering. My name is Ahmed al -Ghandur. I'm an application engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to perform a model analysis using ANSYS Discovery using uh, version 2020 R2.5. Here is ANSYS Discovery. Once you open it, this will be the main window you will see. I recommend that you go over it. It will help you to understand more uh, information and some specification for the user interface and the different navigation tools and selection and other stuff that will be very helpful, including the help that will be uh, used a lot uh, using the F1. So please go over this if you haven't done already. I'm going to start with this simple model here. I uh, remember you can import your CAD or you can create your own CAD here using the design tool. Uh, exactly the same interface as uh, Space Claim if you are familiar with, or you can import your own uh, geometry. So now we have this bracket. Once you start, you can see that by default we are in the explore mode. Explore mode is basically the dis discovery life. We have the model. Model is basically to do the CAD uh, manipulation or creation if you want to start from scratch. And then we have the explore for the discovery life. And then we have the refine uh, that we can use the model to apply a refine mesh manually and solve using the mechanical APDL solver while in, uh, based on CPU, while in explore we solve based on the GPU for instantaneous solution. By default, the structure steel is the main material used here. You can change that. You can change that if you want, uh, either here or change it from the setting to basically change your uh, default value. As you can see here, we have a lot of materials you can we can use, or you can create your own. And if you have ANSYS Granta, you will have hundreds and hundreds of material that you can be that you can use in this uh, analysis. We're going to go with the discovery here. Can see by the way, if you click here, you will see more information about the material uh, that you are using. Double, uh, double click on escape. Now, uh, to perform model analysis, you can see this is the main physics we have. So I'm going to go with natural frequency. And you see it's already green. That means I'm ready to go. So all what you need is to click here. By the way, if you look here, you'll find that the steady state free model analysis, this is my, my model, my analysis uh, with natural frequency. So if I click solve, you can see it's already solved because it's using the GPU. By the way, you see this white, when there is a white uh, line moving here, so it's solving, once it's done, it's done. You can see now we have the six mode shapes uh, already, uh, solve for and we can visualize that and see here this is my first mode shape second mode shape third mode shape etc etc uh, <clears throat> so another thing you can add is let me stop that here I want to show you uh, something in this analysis it was a free uh, model analysis. So let me call this free model. Now let me duplicate this. If you click on this arrow, you can duplicate this analysis. By, you can solve, create a new one, duplicate, rename, or delete. So I'm gonna duplicate it. And then you see here free model copy. So I'm gonna rename this one. Fixed base. I'm going to call it fixed base. And you can see when I click on this arrow, I can see the two analysis. If you look here, they look exactly the same. Okay. But now, once I'm adding a fixed boundary condition, I'll click here and then go to structure and select fix support and click. You can see uh, this is the loads I can use uh, with the model analysis. So now you can see this move to a, a purple because now it's like structure load is uh, defined. Okay. Uh, now we can resolve again. 
see the white line is moving. It's almost done. Now it's done. Now you can see the mode shapes are different, obviously, because we change the boundary condition. And even the, the amplitude of the model of the model frequency is also changed. Now let's try something. I will do. I'll stop this one here, just to show the uh, benefit of using uh, discovery. Now let's see. Okay, I wanna perform what if study a quick what if study. So let me first create mode. So uh, a monitor. Sorry. So I'm gonna create a monitor for mode for mode one frequency. So for this case, if I solve. We already have a value here, which is 125. So now let's say I will try to ask a question. What if I change the material, right? I'm going to stop this. And instead of uh, structure steel, I am going to use, uh, let's say, uh, concrete, very stiff material. Now, so you will see that uh, the value of the first model frequency will change, see, reduced. Now, okay, what if instead of changing the material, I will change the geometry. So let's say I, let me get out of solution here. Now go back to the CAD. If I select this one, this and this and click fill. So I'm filling the curves here. And then let me pull this face a little bit so I can decrease the gap. Okay, now let's solve again and see how this will affect the value. See, it's solving now and then here. So the change, there's some change happening, but not significant. So it's, there is a lot of what if scenarios you can easily do uh, to study your analysis. So this is basically how you perform a model analysis. Uh, you can also define the, the number of mode shape at the beginning of your analysis if you, if you are uh, interested in, in having more than uh, six mode shapes. So what we did here was basically solving based on the GPU. I don't have control over the mesh, but at the same time, I can increase the fidelity. If you look here at the bottom, if I do increase here, increasing the fidelity, it's basically improving the mesh. And you can see now it will give us another value because uh, it instantaneously starts solving once I do a modification. So now we should have a number four uh, value, you see. So there's some change instead of 68127, 68164, very minor because it's already uh, solved in a good mesh uh, previously. So now, we can go to refine. In refine, we, instead of solving on the GPU, we can solve on the CPU of the machine. And also we're gonna solve on the mechanical APDL solver, which is a strong solver of ANSYS, uh, uh, ANSYS platform. In this case, I can also apply. Now, you, you noticed before I didn't have option to change the number of mode shape. Like you see, if I go here to explore, I cannot, uh, sorry explore. I am limited to six mode shape. Now, if I go to refine, I can increase or decrease the number of mode shape the way I want it. Also, I can add a local mesh. So let's, for example, uh, let's first solve this as a, uh, let me, let me solve this as is and see what will happen. You will see here it's slower, okay, because I'm solving on a CPU. And you will see it instead of purple, uh, uh, instead of orange uh, points here, I will have a purple triangle that will tell me the result. Also, I can now show the mesh. So this is the initial mesh. I didn't do any refining yet. You see here that because we didn't do any change, they are very close here. Uh, the results are very close between the uh, GPU and CPU solution. So now let's do some changes by defining some local mesh. Let's first get the dimension of this line here. Uh, to do this, you can go, you can select the line and it will mention here that it's uh, eight meter, uh, eight millimeter, 
or you can go to measure and select the line of interest. And you can see, let me move this. You can see here it's, it says eight millimeter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some uh, local refinement to this face. Let me close the contour. So this face, this face, and this face, I will uh, apply local refinement and a value, let's say three millimeter. So I can type three, you see by default is meter. I can change here the value or I can manually type millimeter and it will work as well. You can see here is 0.003 meter. Now let's resolve and see how this will change the solution. Again, now we are in the refine, so that means we are solving on the CPU, so that's why it's a little slower. Obviously, it's a simple model, so it will solve faster. Now, now it's past the half, I can check the new mesh. You can see now I made some refinement here. You see, this is finer than what I have before, and now we have a new point. So basically, uh, to summarize what we talked about, you can uh, do a model analysis by being by going to explore, select natural frequency. You can add a boundary condition, and then it will solve and give you model frequencies and model shape for six uh, for the first uh, six frequencies. Uh, you can go to refine to have better control over the mesh and even have more modes uh, instead of just six. And you can compare the result by having a monitor. Remember, you can always change the, the material uh, you are using at any time and visualize the result using this arc or change the view using uh, the, the arc view on the left. Uh, this is the end of my video. I hope you like it. Uh, please watch the other videos so you can learn more about the other analysis we can perform on discovery, such as structural analysis, thermal analysis, and fluid analysis. And if you have any questions, you can add it in the comments below, below the video, and we will uh, be happy to answer you, either myself or one of my colleagues. Thank you so much.